Well, Kenny, you must be very satisfied when you reflect on last night. Yeah, obviously with games uh, being called off on Saturday, uh, left us you know, with a weekend off early in the season, which you don't want. You want to get into a rhythm if you can. And um, you know, we're pleased then for the, for the midweek game. A big game, away one at, uh, at Queen's Park Rangers. I've got to say as well, our crowd were fantastic from start to finish. They really were and um, encouraged us and uh, you know we really appreciate that I appreciate that as a manager and was it was a big key and and all of our focus now is really trying to back that up on Saturday which is you know the most important game of the week and a, a vital game hopefully it's given us confidence you know we have to realize that but similarly Blackpool are a good team uh, they've added well they've started the season well and going up there is a difficult one very difficult one so we have to be ready it's a slightly unorthodox lineup you went with was it quite brave to do that of you yeah, maybe. I mean, it's is what it is. Um, last night's gone anyway. I hope the players can take confidence out of it. I'm sure they can, and enjoyed it. Um, but uh, similarly, it's it's the Blackpool game is the one this week, and you know we're we're not really talking about last night or considering it, particularly this morning. It's it's you know working out on the training ground. Not 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 much. Obviously, we've played last night, but some tactical work really, because as I said, you know Saturday's a big game for us, and um, you know we want to really be at our very best and we feel we're going to need to be to, to, to get something up there Nevertheless it would be remiss of me not to mention the draw after the game um, a big one looking forward to it Yeah of course it's one to tuck in isn't it and, and you know, as a manager the, you know, the big derbies they're great when they come around but again you know, that look after itself really you know, it's Blackpool at the moment it's the league at the moment we need to you know, we need to get going at and you know, we don't want to be sort of intermittent in our performances we want to be consistent and yeah of course you know things uh, um, uh, we hope can settle down for the side and our team get into a rhythm uh, all, all the things I normally talk about and I do believe in that and I think it's you know we're capable of that as well similarly this year if if the the fixture list uh, just dictates that you know things are a little bit different we have to uh, be good enough to overcome it and as I said you know we're, we're Talked last night about last night's game, uh, after you know straight away after. But similarly from this morning, there's no, no real mention of that at all right around there. Um, you know we have to focus on back Blackpool. It's a really big game, and uh, as as ever in football, it's on to the next and very quickly. Defensively from last night, then you will have gained a lot of confidence going forward to Blackpool. Yeah, we're disappointed with the goals we gave away at both Sunderland and Coventry. Neither were bad performances. And, you know, we can't say... And both sides will be up there. Both sides are good at the moment as well. Uh, uh, Sunderland unbeaten and Coventry is on a little bit of a crest of a wave. I mean, you know, we've scored three goals against Coventry and uh, they haven't conceded another goal uh, in, the, in the league. So, you know, we, we've done well and we've got ourselves into a very good position there. But similarly, we're, we're disappointed with the five goals that we gave away in those two games. And they've, they've sort of resulted in us you know, getting one point out of six. Uh, but both performances have a lot to build on, uh, but we have to find that edge. And, and you know, that's, that's our aim going forward. Uh, and it's a, an accurate assessment of there of the things we did well. And we did many things well, and we have got some good players that do feel that, uh, trying to find the right mix, the right balance. As ever, like every manager, uh, the balance between attacking and defending. Blackpool are going well at the moment, and the place has changed now. They're likely to have a, quite a big crowd. I was with, uh, uh, you know, new owners and um, a, a new manager, you know, that gives every club a lift. They've got some good players. I mean, even, you know, if you're looking at the last, the last couple of seasons, you shouldn't underestimate, you know, what the, the, the managers have done there. You know, uh, uh, both Gary and Terry have done very, very well there in, in the last couple of seasons in quite difficult circumstances. I think their recruitment's been excellent. And, and, and similarly now, you know, for, for, for you know, Simon going in and, and the new board of directors, you know, they've added well and, and have started the season, you know, with with real good intent. So, big game for us. But similarly, you know, we want to build up some confidence and um, do do everything we can to take the game to them, if we can. Would you say it's been an overtly difficult start to the season with regards to opposition? No, it is what it is. You know, you have to overcome it. You know, you see the fixtures and. Uh, you have to sort of work at it. You know, we've four points out of the first four games isn't the worst, um, but we were hoping for better and we would want better as well. And and most importantly as well, you know, both myself and the players think we're we're capable of better. It's all it's okay saying that though. It's early days in the season. Uh, we want to you know settle the side down, try to you know, pick up pick up a real consistent level of performance, and and you know if we do that, we feel we'll get regular points.